We're here at AQS Quilt Week in Paducah, and I get to interview another winner, no stranger to us, Marilyn Badger. Hi, Bonnie. Thanks. Good to Con see you again. Congratulations. You won first place in the wall quilts, movable machines sponsored by Juki. Hallelujah. I'm shocked. Uh, no, I, <laughs> I am know. shocked. I am. Oh, gosh. Well, it's another beautiful quilt. But this is a little different for you, yeah. where you usually do lots of piecing and maybe some applique. Not so much because you use this beautiful doily in the center. Right. This is a second one of a series. I'm working on a bunch more. Uh, but the doilies are hand dyed by Wendy Richardson, my friend. Uh -huh. And uh, the first one I did featured Paula Nadal Stern's fabrics with it, and this one does as well. I don't know what they got going together, but they seem to go together. But you know what? <laughs> they blend. Yeah, they do. The colors, they? yeah, the colors are the yes, same. Yes, the golds and the greens, perfect to go with this. Right. Well, but then you did some applique and beading. And yeah, yeah, a little fusible. I cut out motifs from Paula's fabric and uh, satin stitched them down. Uh, and then stitched around them with my stitching designs and, and uh, hand embroidered around that to make it stand out and then painted gold in between to get that gold out there as well. And so this fabric that you used in the background is a... Uh, a gradation. Gradation. Yeah. Okay. I like to use those. They look like there's a light behind them depending mm -hmm. on what colors I use. Uh, and you have a little bit of trim in here somewhere. A little bit of uh, uh, hand dyed edgings on uh, three different kinds that, that just were the right color. They were in my stash. They just worked. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Just the right colors. And then a lot of beads. And, um, and I, ha I have a friend who was in the theater business who lives up the street from me. She loves to give me beads. So now I'm using oh, a lot of those so in my quilts. And, and they're not just round beads, they're no, kind of square beads. They're all different. Beads, aren't right, they? right. So that, that's exciting. And she gets a thrill to see them on the quilts, too. Well, and I'll, I know this is a little bit different edge treatment that you've done on this one. Yeah. So I tried to, I wanted to bring out the kind of the that same design out there. So I'm, I shaped them and, and cut, fussy cut these pieces out again and put it on black. And then to get a little purple in there, I did a one behind it and then a little prairie point and add some beads and crystals. And then I, I just zigzagged it down, butted it up next to the quilt, after it was quilted, zigzagged it down and covered it up with the trim and then well, faced it on the it, back. And you said this one has batting in it, where sometimes you have a stabilizer, but this has batting. Right, and I, uh, it was kind of an experiment to see how it traveled, and I think it works pretty good. I think it worked very well. It sure did. And of course, you know, you have to have little glitz. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I got to do that. And those are those mo more modern faceted crystals that aren't quite as sparkly. So I'm using up my stash of those. I'm and they kind of look different colors from different angles. Right. Don't uh -huh. they? Yeah, they're more of a flat look, but still sparkle. Mm -hmm. Well, it's another beautiful quilt, and congratulations well, again. Another blue ribbon. Thank you. All I right. <laughs> and we hope that you'll enter your quilts in AQS. And you can't win a blue ribbon if you don't, you don't enter, try. can That's you? That's right. Nope. <laughs> and better yet, we hope you'll come see us at an AQS Quilt Week soon.